I come from a Yaman family. So for that I have, I think, influence, effect from the Yaman, Yaman tradition, especially from the Yaman tradition, the Yaman culture, and my grandfather. He was 13 when he came to Israel with his mother. He walked, this is the story he told me, he walked from Yemen to North of, uh, Africa, North, North, North Africa, and then they took, they, they took a boat to Israel. And there was their dream to come to Israel, to build Israel, you know, to live in Israel, like in the Bible. Used to follow places in Israel from the Bible, just to look. You know, it was their dream to come here. We still live, I still feel Yemen in some kind of way, especially in the traditional way. And, uh, and uh, I also feel like Israeli, like I'm born here. I served the army two years. <laughs> I'm an Israeli. This is a little bit hard, you know, to look for your identity, because you're influenced for a lot of things until you come to be what you want to be. <laughs> Since I was three years old, I knew that I will be an artist. That's, that's the truth. I found myself painting landscapes not from Israel. It was forest and, I mean, it was like from my imagination and the stories of my parents, I built a kind of uh, European landscape without seeing it. My grandfather, he uh, was blinded in the Holocaust. He came to Israel with my mother after the Holocaust. Uh, I was uh, the closest person to him. And all my childhood, I was going with him. He, he wanted to go to the synagogue. I took him to the synagogue. He wanted to go here or there. So I become like, like his part of his uh, body. And the piece that I uh, call the Mark of Cain, Ot Cain, it was connected to the way how Jews were, uh, were shown in photographs by the Nazis as criminals. So this piece uh, shows an image of a man with, which for me is Cain, but he, you don't see his eyes, so in a way he's blind, or we are blind to see him. He don't see us, we can't see him exactly, but even we can't recognize him, the mark of him is coming out. And the mark is the first letter of Cain in Hebrew, which is the Ot Kuf, uh, and uh, it's in yellow, so it's, it's give association to the yellow star. So in a way, it's also this yellow star of the Jews in the Holocaust. So it's have this double meaning of victim and victimizer. Because Cain is a victimizer, but he, in, in my work, he's also victim. You never in one side. Even you are a murderer, you're also a victim of your passion, or of, of your own face. I'm sure that the heritage of my parents my family influenced me and influenced my identity also as a Jew, also as, as an Israeli, but not so very much from the point of mere nationality, but from the point of their experience, the past experience, the present experience, the critical point in their lives, like uh, going through the Holocaust, like um, confront question of life and death, of fear and, and one willing to live. These, these aspects uh, have a great influence on my way of looking at life. And uh, if I look deeper, it influences my work. I come from a small Arabic town in the Galilee. This is Tamra here. My, uh, my people, or the, the citizens in Tamra, in my town, used to live in agriculture. And uh, uh, since 50 years, during 50 years, uh, their life or our life have uh, changed. 
I am not like my grandfather. Yes, my grandfather, he was more connected to the land in his daily life. Yes, the, the definition of uh, my uh, identity, uh, it, it took a lot of time a lot of time for me to to say what I am to myself first, and uh, uh, some Israelis do not accept that I I I say that I am a Palestinian. They say if you are a Palestinian, you can go and live in Palestine. There is uh, going to be a Palestinian state. Why you do do not leave and and live there? Uh, my answer is that I belong to the place. מצד אחד קיימים היבטים פוליטיים ודיונים על שלום. מצד שני, המתח הוא, הוא לא פשוט. זאת אומרת, קיימים מתחים, קיימים בעיות, עולות שאלות זהות מתוך התרבויות השונות, בעיקר סביב אדמות ודברים כאלה. ולהיום אנחנו מטורחים מודוע פרדן, מודוע ג'דן מכהרב, ג'דן ג'דן מפחח ומרכב, ולא מודוע תורב ארד. והון עמדי, פי לסעות אלארד, אחד אלאמפי למניחה, אינו פי עמדי פנאני, אלי מוג'וד פי אחד אללוחת תעת הכתבי. כי זו ארץ שלנו ואין לנו ארץ אחרת. ואנא פי ענדי כבל היי אלפנאני, כמאן פנאן, אלי וכול בלאדי בלאדי בלאדי, לכו חיבי יהו פואדי, או בכתוב אסמי כי בלאדי על השמס אלי מה בדריב. הון מנג'ד אלחוואריי אלמושתרקי בין פנאן ערבי ופנאן יהודי. כיף אלפנאן הערבי בתרג'ם חסו לארד, כיף בפקר ארד, וכיף ביחקי ארד, וכיף בירסם ארד. نفس الإشي بمقابل له الفنان اليهودي كيف بفكر أرض كيف بحس أرض وكيف برسم أرض. I never choose my I never choose my colors because the colors it's inside me. But I think that I prefer or it's unconscious to uh, to deal with the earth or ground uh, colors from coffee. from henna and the um, color of the sky. Maybe because I feel myself close to the mystics. But I never choose the color. Because, you know, my family name is Canaan. And I try to find the connection between my family And the land, the land of Canaan, this holy land, the first name was Canaan, the land of Canaan. But I still remember my childhood in, the, in my neighborhood, all the old houses and the smells and the colors and the earth. So in my artworks, I use a lot things and stories and beliefs and habits that came uh, from the, the peasant life, uh, the, the Arabic life. 